Hi everyone, let's solve the first question from the today's weekly contest that is pass the pillow. So in this question we are given n people standing uh, in a line labeled from 1 to n. And the first person in the line holding the pillow initially, every second the person holding the passes it to the next person standing on the line. And once the pillow reaches the end, the direction changes and people continue passing the pillow in the opposite direction. For example, one pillow reaches the nth person, pass it to the n minus 1th and to the n minus uh, second person and so on. So we are given two positive integers n and time and we need to return the index of the person holding the pillow after time seconds. Right. So let's understand the question. So basically in this question we are given some people right labeled from 1 to n standing. Let's say we are given four people right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the way the people are standing right. Now we are given some time here right the time given is in seconds so t is given to be 5 here right in the first test case we are considering so what we have to do is we have to tell after 5 seconds which person will be holding the pillow right these persons are doing what they are passing the pillow so how are they passing the pillow let's see so if one passes the pillow to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 and then what happens 4 passes the pillow back to 3 then 3 to 2 and then 2 to 1. This is the way they are passing the pillow and this cycle is like going on, right? Until this time, uh, right? So basically this cycle keeps going on but we are given a time and we have to tell at this particular time, right? At these much seconds, we have to tell which person will be holding the pillow, right? For example, in this case, let's see who will be holding the pillow, right? So first, what, what will happen? So at this is the 0th second, right? At the 0th second, 1 is holding the pillow. At 1 second, right? 2 will be holding. At 2 second, 3. 3 seconds, 4 will be holding the pillow. But after that, after that, the pillow goes back to 3, right? So this is the 4th second, right? And then to 2, that is the 5th second. So at t is equal to 5, 2 will be holding the pillow. Right. So I hope the uh, I hope the problem statement is clear now. Right. So. So let's see. Um, let's work out how we'll be solving it. Right. So first thing is that if uh, t is less than this n quantity, then we can simply say that uh, whatever t we are at, we will just simply return t plus one. Why? Because see, if we let's say if we are um, let's say we have to tell at t is equal to two seconds. Who will be holding the pillow so at t is equal to two seconds you see um, this is zero at zero at second one is holding at one at second two is holding at second second three is holding so two plus one is three that is t plus one we can simply return if it is less than n right now let's see in the case where it will not be less than n right t is not less than n then what will happen then we will be you know repeating these cycles right that is of passing Right, so let's see in that case what we'll be doing is. So first of all, let's see the number of steps per cycle that we will be having. So you see, you will be having one, two, three, right? So you have completed one cycle. Then from four to three, one, two, three. This is the second cycle. So that is three. So the number of steps to complete one cycle are three, right? I hope you are getting that. So basically n minus 1 it is, right? Because n is 4. So and the steps that we are getting per cycle are 3. So that means n minus 1 are our steps per cycle, right? So what we'll be doing is we will be taking the time, right? And we will calculate two quantities, right? First we will calculate t modulo this n minus 1 and we will calculate t modulo uh, sorry, uh, t divided by n minus 1. Now see, here is the trick. Here is where we will be getting our answer. And let's see how we will be getting this answer this way, right? So let's say this is x and this is y, right? So, so let's say uh, our t is 5 here, right? So let's calculate x and y. So we will be having x as t modulo n minus 1. That is t modulo 3. So which is? Uh, 5 modulo 3 will be 2 and y will be what t divided by n minus 1 that is 5 divided by 3 so we will be getting 1 right 
Now what we'll be doing is, if this particular y quantity, right, if it is, we will be having two cases, right, whether this y quantity is even or if this is odd. Now if this y quantity is odd, we will return n minus x, right. So let's see, this is odd. So what do we have to return? We have to return n minus x. That is n minus what is x2, right? So that is we have to return 4 minus 2. That is 2, right? So that is the answer that we are getting. Now let's let's do the same thing for n is equal t is equal to 6, right? Let's do the same thing for t is equal to 6. Let's say t was 6. Let's calculate x. So what will be getting in x? Uh, we will be getting 6 modulo n minus 1 which is 0 and what we will be getting in y we will be getting t divided by n minus 1 which is 2 now this y is even so okay now when y is even what do we have to return we will return 1 plus x right so what will be returning 1 plus this particular x quantity that is 0 so we will be having 1, right? So 1 will be holding the pillow at this particular time, right? So let's see how we arrive to the conclusion that it will be it will be n minus x or 1 plus x, right? So in cases, let's consider another test case, right? Let me remove all this. Let's consider another test case. Right. Let's say we are given 8 and uh, the time is given to us as, uh, let's say 10, right? This is the time and uh, this, this is 8 that is given to us. Now, let's draw the people that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, right? So now again, we will do what? We will calculate these two quantities x and y because this time is greater than n, right? So what was x? x was time modulo uh, n minus 1 that is 10 uh, modulo 7 that is 3 and what will be y? y will be uh, y will be t divided by n minus 1 that is 10 divided by 8 so we will be getting 1. So we said in cases when this is odd this y is odd so when this y is odd we will be you know returning what n minus x right why are we doing n minus x now the logic is simple that see in this particular case so this y is what this is the number of cycles right this is the number of cycles that we are calculating right so number of cycles is it can be even and it can be odd so if it is even right if it is even that means we are going in this direction but if the number of cycles are odd, right? So we are going in the reverse direction, right? So y is calculating the number of cycles and this x is calculating what? The step that we are standing at, right? So when it is, you know, even, we can simply return that it will be 1 plus x, right? Because we know that x is the step, right? Because in the case when uh, this was, consider the case when um, t was less than n, we said that simply return 1 plus that particular step, uh, that particular time, right? So that is what we are doing. So we are saying that if this is even, right, this y is even, that means we are going this in this direction. So what will we return? We will simply return 1 plus x. We can say that x is the step that we are standing at. That is what we are getting by doing modulo. So this is the step that we are standing at. And because we are going in this direction, we can simply say that 1 plus x is the step. Otherwise, Otherwise, if y is odd, that means we are going in the reverse direction, right? So the reverse direction is different, right? The reverse direction is from 8 to 7, then 7 to 6, then 5, 6 to 5, this way. So if we are going in the reverse direction, then what do we have to return? We have to return n minus x, right? We have to simply do n and we have to take the step that we are currently standing at and we have to subtract it from n. Then we will be getting that particular step because... Here we are going in this particular direction that is the opposite direction. So 
that is what we will do so let's see the code so obviously uh, the logic was the main part here so the code is very simple so we simply first first is the right uh, depends on the time right so if time is less than n what we will return 1 plus time otherwise what we will calculate we will calculate x and y two quantities so what is x x is the step that we are, you are standing at right but you also need to know in which direction you are going right if it is so that you can uh, get to know by doing um, by dividing time with n minus 1 that is calculating the number of cycles right so if your number of cycle is even that means you are going in the forward direction so you can simply return 1 plus x but it is odd then you have to take care and you have to return n minus x because in that case 1 plus x won't be an answer right so you have to take care of the case when you are going in the opposite direction that is in this direction right so that is the whole code so i guess the problem is clear to you now